Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nishi Jo, episode number 8, Reaction. Okay, the previous episode, it was one of my favorite episodes, the first part especially, where <laughs> Yuko was dreaming that um, a weird thing where there's this one guy, that the guy that was a villain, who just falls down and dies. That was one of my favorite parts of the... <laughs> The whole anime as a whole that was unexpected weird and hilarious and i'm like wow what what <laughs> and i loved how everyone jumped ship after that and how like you know the guy who found the those two little those wooden cues just thought that out oh, it's too like you know too much of a chore to become like the ruler of the world and just drops it <laughs> And that's where it kind of falls and comes into um, Mio's, like, you know, those hair ties that kind of tie her hair. That's where he, she got that from. Like, that was such a random dream that Yuko was having. And wow, that was amazing. And uh, that was the first part. The next part was the whole thing with the, the teacher, the male teacher. And, uh, you know, like, uh, and the, 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 what was her name? I forgot. Uh, the the female teacher that uh, you know like it's like the homeroom teacher of uh, Yuko's class, you know like how he kind of likes her and he ends up like you know telling it in a weird way and that like you know <laughs> wait what was her name the um Sakurai Izumi yeah that's her name the 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 homeroom teacher uh, and Sakurai she she just she just <laughs> she just ignores that completely and like you know just moves on that was kind of funny and uh the next part was the whole section with nano where he, she meets um uh, mio's sister and uh, in the end we kind of see that nano also saw like you know the, those three uh the three of them kind of going so maybe they'll actually meet face to face after this who knows but at least you know they like you know like they, they these two are like the main uh, like, you know group main group of characters like nano and professor while uh, mio mai and uh, yuko so when they'll meet i don't know what's going to happen <laughs> if they meet i'm not sure if, if they are going to meet but if if they meet that'll be that'll be interesting to see what happens so anyways let's begin this is episode number um eight so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go what is happening okay oh, are they going to have like make a pool makeshift pool or something oh no they're just watery never mind Sakamoto's <laughs> ah, what a peaceful day! Okay, everything's a bit too peaceful. I can see. <laughs> It's a good weather, but it's hot, you know. Okay. I'm sure something's going to go wrong after this. What is going to happen? Oh my god, here we go. Something... Yeah, I knew something was going to happen. And... There you go. Wait, her hand just left on its own? Where? And why? What type of a contraption is this that the professor made? Oh boy.
All right. Okay, let's see what happened to. <laughs> what happened to her hand? Oh no. All right, here we go again. <laughs> oh my god, the, the hand's going to. Oh no, the hand's going to. What? Just ignored. Well, <laughs> they're used to you now, you know, that's why. No, I don't think so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a banger, you know? <laughs> oh no, look look at her. Okay. Ayo. <laughs> These puns. <laughs> Wait, do they have like something in their ears? Maybe, like that happened before. Oh, yo. Oh, I thought that was a deer. That's a dog. <laughs> the dog is falling. Wow. I'm pretty sure they have something in their ears. Like airports or something. Wow! How? <laughs> oh my god! What the? What is that? Is that a... Is that a Kokish? Co that's a Kokish, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Well. Whoa, the face! <laughs> These buns. Okay. If you're trying a bit too hard, I feel like at this moment, just give up. That's that's the best. <laughs> One Q. Is that the? Oh no. What's up with their faces? <laughs> What's happening? Is this like a dream or something? Is she dreaming? I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a, all a dream or something. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I've got nothing to do. Oh wow, okay. Well, aha. Yeah. <laughs> Professor. Ah. <laughs> Relatable? Sharp thoughts, okay. What the?
Um, okay. Oh, these two girls, we've seen Weboshi and Fe <laughs> These two, we've like, seen them in the opening. Okay. <laughs> now, what's he doing now? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, what has he done? <laughs> what? Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh my god, stop! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, he's, she's going to bring out the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this guy made of? I cannot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oh my god, what? Uh. <laughs> hey, yo! What the? That was abrupt? <laughs> oh, did they find... Wait, what happened to... What happened to her? Like, it, it was going to hit her head? What type of a bicycle is this? Super car bi- Okay. That's a... <laughs> uh. Alright, what is this? Daikyu security. Are they like trapped somewhere? Oh no. Is this like a. Oh, this is an elevator. They're stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Even my is like. Ah, oh, I cannot. <laughs> oh boy. So, what do we do? Oh no, okay, well... Oh my god, there's multiple of them. 
¿O no? Um. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, All right. Okay. I... Hmm. Well. Okay. All right, so what is happening here? Are they laughing? Are they, yeah, they're laughing. Okay. I'm confused. <coughs> what? Hmm. This is this is what madness feels like. I I think. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that was interesting. Oh yeah, the whole the three minimum member. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god, what's happening here? <laughs> oh no he's gonna try to trick him yep there you go this is my way <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh satamoto is here tail okay Oh. 
<laughs> like it's interesting like i've seen cat do this as well like you know they kind of act as if the tails are not the part of their body and i don't know why but i'm sure there's like a proper actual reasoning for that you know like the actors of the tails there is some kind of a different creature and there you go you can see it like and it's like wagging on its own <laughs> Oh no, what's happening now? Go and soccer. And... <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Oh no! Yes. <laughs> the evidence is in front of her. Why? Okay. Oh, Sakamoto then. Um, that was yesterday's, you know. <laughs> Yes, perfect excuse. Just like how my dog ate my homework. <laughs> Same energy. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, after, yeah. Well, <laughs> just trying to find out some kind of ah, uh, <laughs> that's kind of true. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> the rust. <laughs> oh. No, oh, but but you know what? Please don't do that. That's not worth the trouble. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was nice. Wow. <laughs> that was an interesting episode. Especially the part where <laughs> they were all in the elevator just and then they start laughing and started descending into madness. That was interesting. <laughs> uh, like, like, like even after like, like this is the eighth episode. Even after watching so many episodes, I still don't un like. You know, I don't expect what to expect from this show. Like you know, like I don't know what to expect. Like like every episode is like they they bring out such a weird thing that I'm like, all right, I never thought they could do something like this. <laughs> like the randomness is really amazing. Alright, let's see who today's
voice actress at the end. Wait, what is this? A little miracle. Oh, it's still continuing. Okay. Oh my god, she is. Oh yeah, there you go. She got hit, that means. There's like a little <clears throat> bump on her head. <laughs> I know, I know who this is. Seki Tomosa. Seki Tomokazu. Seki Tomokazu. Oh my god, where have I heard that voice? Se Tomokazu. Like where have I heard that voice? That's a, such a familiar voice. Ah. Oh, I, yeah, I remember. Is that Kuhulin? Kuhulin's voice from... I think so. Okay, let me check. Seki Tomokazu. There you go. Um, Alright, uh, where is... Let me check. Let me first check if I'm correct or not. It's Kuhulin. No, it's Gilgamesh. Oh my god, no. But I... F Why did I feel it? Oh no, that's Gilgamesh. Oh my god, I made such a big mistake. That's Gilgamesh. Oh. Ah. I feel bad. Ah. Oh. Why? Why did I say Hulin? Ah, now I'm feeling bad. Like. Yeah, that's Gilgamesh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh my god. The way he. Like, you know, usually in Gilgamesh, it's so haughty. Like, you know, his, the way he talks is so different. So I wasn't properly able to pinpoint it. Yeah, that's not Kuhuli. Now that I'm listening to it, like I'm thinking about it again, nah. Yeah, that's definitely Gilgamesh. So, <laughs> yeah. And wait, who else? Let me see some recent, um, some recent ones. Okay, Panda from, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah. Zero Panda. Who else? I can see Doraemon. Nothing much. I can see Doraemon. Like, okay. Like, Evangelion. Okay, so, yeah. Oh no, sorry. That's, um. Oh, I, I was watching the film. Okay, sorry. Never mind. Let me check, check the anime portion. Where is it? There you go. Here's the anime portion. I was checking the movie section. Okay. Um. Obviously, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen Panda, who else? Uh, girlfriend Jojo's Pucci. Oh, wait, Pucci is going to be. Oh. Is he? I can't remember his voice. Pucci is that guy, isn't he? It, the, the guy who's the main villain of uh, Jojo Part 6, I think. The father? I think the, his name was Gucci, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. So, I don't remember how he talked, so I forgot. Okay, interesting. Alright, so these are the ones. Uh, Hashida Itaru, okay, yeah, definitely. Science Gate. Yeah, these are the ones. Alright, so... <clears throat> this episode, whoa, haha. <laughs> It began in a very interesting way. Uh, we were seeing how everything was just peaceful, nice, good, uh, you know, weather. Uh, Hakase is sleeping, Sakamoto is sleeping, Nano is just, well, like, you know, kind of uh, watering the plants. And she just stretches and her hand starts going on her own way. And <laughs> I don't know why the professor gave her hand that feature. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so... Then after that, we see um, our usual trio, uh, <coughs> Mio, <coughs> Mio Mai and uh, Yuko, going to sc uh, school. And as always, you know, Yuko is doing weird stuff, just saying random stuff, like, you know, like just cracking some jokes and puns and wordplay. And the first, <laughs> at first she was like, Salama Pagi, and they're like, oh yeah, good morning. And she's like, why are they not answering? <coughs> like the way I'm doing 
and then, <laughs> and then she talks about that she's going to buy like a keypad and all these were all these like you know <clears throat> jokes that she was saying most of them were like you know some puns wordplay like you know jokes and all that you know and it kind of <clears throat> makes sense if you listen to the japanese you know if you listen to the japanese voice acting you can see how these are puns like you know because basically like everything she was saying kind of sounded the same <laughs> but i guess they also did like a good job to uh translate that <clears throat> into english in a different manner and there was still like you know the, the jokes were still hitting because even the english translation had a lot of pun jokes and wordplay jokes so <clears throat> And then he she talks about the whole board spot thing, which also another is another pun. And as she's saying, she's seeing how these like these two girls are just ignoring her. And she's like, what is happening? Why are they not talking to me? <laughs> now I feel like they are just, you know, like <clears throat> they're just also used to this. This is like every day for them. Like for a moment I thought that they were um <clears throat> listening to something or you know, like they had like like a headphone in their ears or something i think in one of the previous episode they, they did that where they, like you know one of the girls had like a headphone that's why <coughs> my wasn't it yeah my my kind of did that before had like a headphone or something in like you know years that's <laughs> that's why everything was like you know like not like you know get no not my was it my or no who was it but i remember you know someone did that and that's why i was saying like wait a minute does they have like earphones in their ears or something is that why they are not listening or are, are not hearing it but <clears throat> you know she she keeps on like you know cracking these jokes and <laughs> in the middle of it random stuff started happening for example uh, nano just chasing her hand then there's this dog just staring at her you know just following her and staring at her and while she's just trying and then for, for the for a moment she was like okay they're probably trying like you know like, like you know, asking me to surpass my own limits at my <laughs> on my own and there was that visual representation of them like you know standing on top of like a mountain and her climbing up the mountain and oh my god she keeps doing that and in the end she <laughs> that one was really good like obviously as i said the the english translations are different because the, they had to make the make the jokes hit uh, so what they say in japanese is kind of different from the english translation what the english translation says here is my grade for astronomy will be astronomical that was the final banger she came up with <laughs> and oh my god after that Mio and Mai, their eyes completely changed, and <laughs> she keeps she keeps doing this. Oh my God, Yuko! Yuko doesn't give up. You know, like props to her, I guess. You know, even after even after them completely blatantly ignoring her, she kept on going. And in the end, they kept that face. That face was hilarious. What was that? You know, their eyes were. <laughs> And she, later on, she just got embarrassed. She was like, "Yeah, what have I been doing up until now?" All right. Then we uh, we go to the um, Go Soccer Club. I think that was the, the name. And uh, <laughs> where were those two? Are you know what's their name? Okay, wait a minute. Go Soccer Club. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> so <laughs> one of the guys come back, comes back, and he's like. And, and uh, what's his name? The dude. Um, okay, what is her name? His name. Uh, the one who, the, the, the captain, the, not captain, sorry, the president. Daiku. Is that his name? Daiku Kenzaburo. Yeah, I think that's his name. Yeah. His name is Daiki? Okay. So he's no sorry Daiku. His name is Daiku. Well, what's the girl's name? Um, let me see if I can find it. Cannot. Okay, here we go. Sekiguchi. There you go. Sekiguchi and the Daiku. 
Wow, this show has so many characters. I'm like seeing it now. Damn, there's just so many of them. <laughs> okay, so Tekiguchi and uh, Daiku, I think that was his name, yeah. So <laughs> he, he's like, oh, oh you're here, thank God. Like, you know, like you, you were not here for so long, so I was feeling lonely. Let's let's play some game, you know, like what game should, should we play? And he's like, I'm just here to kind of, like, kind of just leave the club. <laughs> and in the end, you know, like he's just like, ah, what's happening? Okay, so and then the, we have those short two sections where, oh my god, that section was kind of really funny. Where <laughs> the professor puts the popcorn up, falls on her head, and just throws the popcorn in frustration. And then there was that short, short thoughts section with Yuko. She just gives them some uh, some random thoughts. <laughs> okay, now uh, next scene we see those two girls who we always see in the opening, Weboshi and Fett. These are some interesting names, Weboshi and Fett. Okay, so now Misato is here. Misato is like, uh, have you seen Sasahara? And she she goes to the. <laughs> She goes to the roof while Sasara is there, just writing haiku. And as soon as he, she, he sees the flying hand, he just came up with an inspiration and started writing again. And Misato comes up <laughs> with a bazooka. And oh my god, this was so good. This scene was so good. The whole Sundare thing, you know, like, which we usually see, like, you know, the, the girl just beating up the boy. And in the end, she's like, it's not that I did it for you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> that whole Sundare trope. Oh my god, they just <laughs> they just went all out with this one. And uh, uh, Weboshi and Fett were just listening to the whole conversation as like an audience. And while she just came up with Bazooka and just shooting Sasahara, and she's like, Oh, like, you know, where is it? Oh, wh oh, do you, do you understand what you have done? And she, she brings up the handkerchief and she's like, don't you remember this? <laughs> he's like, that's mine. And as soon as he's like, why do you have? And she, she just shoots the bazooka at him again. This time it's two bazookas. Like, and then she's like throwing grenades and stuff. And she's talking about how like, you know, this, you should not throw these things. Uh, and <laughs> I love the fact that <laughs> she's the one who picked it up. She's the one who came to the roof and she's, <laughs> she's the one who is just, you know, like, just telling Sasahara that why have you thrown this? And like, that's, that's, what can I say? That's the best representation of a Sundari. Like they, they just do this stuff that no one tells them to do, but then in the end, you know, they, they, they just they just do it on their own and then they get embarrassed when confronted with it and start beating up the other person and then in the end, you know, they're like Yeah, I I, I may, maybe maybe I like you know uh like you know don't expect me to do that but I might I might there's like a one point one 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 uh zero point zero 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 one point percent chance that I might do that. But it's not because of you or anything. No, that's that's the sundare and <laughs> this was so perfect i loved this part and she just oh like sasara keeps doing the usual thing of like sasara's like just trying to say something while she is just like you know completely using like you know like using bazooka then like brings out like a cannon and then she's like are you stupid don't get the wrong idea you know typical sundare um <laughs> quotes and then she's like i just happened to be walking oh my god happened to be walking that way and then when sasa has like thank you for your kindness tachibana misato she's like <laughs> she just goes to a side and she's like like don't throw this garbage like you know these things like you know just here and there but you know like uh if I notice this, I might, I might pick it up for you. 
but it, it, I don't mind picking them up. But you know, like it's it's not that I'm doing this for you or anything. Like, <laughs> wow. And in the end, there was that whole section when the the the, the hand comes towards her, and they just completely cuts off that part after that you know doesn't show what happened but <laughs> yeah later on we see weboshi and fed they got their hand and they're like ah misato never changes <laughs> that was that was that was a that was a good you know like and that was a something good that we saw there and they're just on their way with with and oh and they also picked up the hand <laughs> so yeah like this this section was amazing just so good like the the whole the, the you know the the comedy of the situation is how misato is just freaking out about anything and everything related to sasahara and how sasahara is just not even being bothered even after he's been shot with bazooka cannons you know like i don't know like some mini guns like you know laser beams whatever you know like he he just he's just there and he's just his usual self, you know, just as elegant as he ever is. So <laughs> this 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 is just this is just amazing, and uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now oh my god! Then the next part. <laughs> the the trio is stuck in an elevator, and I have to say, like this part was done really good. Because, okay, when does it start? This section starts at the 11th minute. Yeah, it starts at the 11th minute of this episode. It continues till the 15th, 16th minute. So five minutes of them just being in the elevator stuck. And you know what? Nothing significant happened there. They just were stuck. They were talking about how they won't ever be saved. And then in the end, they were like, oh, let's play some Shiritori. They start playing Shiritori, but they are not able to play properly. And then in the end, they start laughing and descending to madness. That was all that happened in these five minutes. And like, I loved the way they kind of did this part because there's multiple sections of this that I really liked. First of all, the way this part played out. The whole screen was completely dark, you know, the only characters who were like, you know, in focus, that part was only being shown, you know, and they were kind of moving the, the panels from here to there. Like that was probably like making this a more interesting, uh, like, like, like a more suspenseful way. And the music that was playing was kind of matching this whole, like, you know, scenario. Like, I, I don't know, I felt like I was playing like some kind of a psychological visual novel at this part or like watching a psychological anime this part you know the, the 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 weird noise that was constantly playing in the background with them and their dead faces like you know like their dead eyes just in a monotone voice just speaking weird stuff and uh, like you know talking about how they won't ever be saved you know that was so weirdly well done and how as i was saying like you know how they were con like you know, constantly panning the little like you know a section the little box only and the whole screen was completely dark and that box was kind of moving from one place to another showing them and they were not showing the whole screen and it was kind of funny to see like you know when when um mio was kind of drooling you know when the drool kind of was dropping <laughs> the little section of the <laughs> of the panel kind of expanded a little bit and when she sucked up the drool again it again went back and that was like a little comedic section you know you know, like amongst these psychological thing that was kind of funny you know that part especially and uh, like and nothing significant happens here you know and i feel like that was oh and then there's another part where they show them in like an inverted position and the whole screen kind of twists you know like kind of like a weird way and uh, with the with the music constantly playing in the background that weird music and their monotonous voice and uh, yeah this this part was so good and then they start playing uh shiritori and they're like uh, first <laughs> they're like eggplant and the other girl was like ah what did you say and like oh yeah what did i say <laughs> 
and that was all what was happening and then things start to get a little bit different um yuko starts kind of weirdly laughing at first i was not really understanding what she was doing was she laughing what was happening but then when i see mio i understood yeah they're actually laughing they're kind of keeping their you know just things in trying not to laugh and then i was wondering what's happening is this like a joke that they're playing or what's happening here but the actual situation hits me where i realize they're not laughing because this is a joke they're laughing because they are going mad <laughs> oh, and they're just laughing and she this is like pointing at mio uh, sorry mai and she, they're like oh she's dead and the laughing and she's like ah help is not coming again laughing while mai is like oh i've got i've got like an you know, paralysis i'm sleep paralyzed i cannot move So yeah, and that's how they just completely ended that. Now, <laughs> another interesting part that the way that this show does stuff is that they abruptly end stuff and never go back. You know, like for example, this scene they just ended it there, and they don't show us what happened after that. You know, like how did they get out? What happened? Did help come? <laughs> or or like what's happening? Now I don't know. Like and I I, I sometimes <laughs> wonder like are these like some kind of you know like like they're stuck here there what happened after that what, 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 what were they really saved like i sometimes wondered maybe they were not saved and maybe this was like a parallel universe <laughs> that was happening here the yuko that we saw after that the yuko mai and you know like mio maybe that was like some other parallel universe me <laughs> yuko mai and i like, you know i wouldn't be surprised if it was actually something like that because this show is so random and so unusual at times that nothing would surprise me you know <laughs> oh my god so yeah like another like again another one of those examples is that um for example uh, that part um um what's her name nano nano chasing the hand you know how did she get her hand back we saw her chasing the hand the hand ended up going uh, to uh, those two the uh, those two girls i forgot their names anyways you know the hand is with them so obviously nano did not find her hand so how like you know how is what's what's going to happen after that she has his hand as we see after that so was that like another extra hand that the professor made her or what happened like these things they just do something and just nothing else no explanations something else and again something weird happens no explanation so <laughs> that really kind of increases the randomness that this show have and it's it's just that you're like ah yeah well like you know like there, there's no answer to this and we just move on with the next one okay anyways uh the next part is where um those two in the soccer go club you know those two are there uh the president he's like oh like you know we're all alone now like if, if there's like not three people the club will be disbanded and uh where is it yeah so uh, she, he's like uh, sekiguchi is like why did you even make this you know like club and the person is like i don't know like i just oh no sorry she asks like what do we do here in this club and the person is like oh we don't do anything that's the whole point like i think like they call um like people who don't go into some clubs are not in any clubs i think they say that we're in the go home club you know so i guess the name of this club like go soccer is kind of something which is something like that you know like since as he says this club does nothing oh no wait sorry never mind go means i think the board game go yeah yeah never mind i i was i was thinking of something else never mind i was i was going to say like you know since it's a go home club people not, don't do anything or go soccer club that's why people don't do anything here or something like that i was going to say but no never mind this go is not that go this is the board game go i think yeah because uh, i've seen the the, the picture of that club. Like, you know, there's like a board game i think that's go and there's like a soccer on top of it so yeah anyways um Okay, and then we get to the Helvetica standard again with this. 
guy is just trying to get his shirt off <laughs> and the other one is like no i'm not leaving this and I, like you know like that's one of those uh tricks that they use is the guy is like okay like you know, let me take it off you know like you know you, you don't have to do it and when he loses her, his like you know grip strength he just yanks it off and this what was written in his t-shirt okay this is my way of life okay so <laughs> that's that's the thing that he didn't want the other guy to see all right now the next part is with sakamoto sakamoto is just there as always trying to teach nano how uh, not nano sorry uh, professor how to respect the, her like you know her elders <laughs> and now as i said i don't know if this is like a like it has like an actual reason or something but i've seen multiple times where cats like you know like act as if their tail are not the extension of their body like for example here you can see sakamoto was doing her his own thing while her his tail was moving on its own you know and uh, this is one instance of like you know another instance i've seen cat do this uh, uh, cats do this as well it's like they suddenly look at their tail and they act as if it's some kind of foreign being start biting it and they get hurt you know like like, like suddenly like you know I, like i've seen one cat do this i think it was in a video or something you know starts biting its tail like and then gets hurt and <laughs> then realizes that that's his own tail and then starts licking it like so i don't know i feel like this is the thing with cats when they actually sometimes forget <laughs> that there's a tail stuck to them and they think that it's something else or so, i don't know like their tail has like a like a like a, a like a thing like a um what do you call it like a what do you call that like a ah, i can't find the word like an imagination on its own you know like it's like a separate being and it's not part of them but they feel as if it's some kind of a foreign thing and that's why they like you know chase their tail bites it and does weird stuff with it <laughs> so similarly sakamoto here as well like you know the tail was moving on its own and sakamoto's just looking at it and then they start <laughs> chasing it and he's like oh this is so fun well nano is just and not nano sorry Professor is just <laughs> it's like, oh, this is so cute. Okay, and then we get to uh, go back to the Go Soccer Club, and here the president talks about, you know, what, why he made this group, uh, this club. He says, in the beginning, I thought I could make a new kind of club combining Go and soccer. There you go. Go means the board game. Go. Okay. Then <laughs> that's why I made this club. And then he's like, but <clears throat> I couldn't come up with some good ideas. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. All right. And the next part, um, professor is having snacks didn't tell, you know, Nano, Nano was not informed that she was having snacks and, uh, you know, like Nano comes in, obviously Nano's mad. Nano's like, what are you doing? You, you, like, you know, you, after brushing your teeth, you're like, you know, Oh no, sorry. At first, at first, Nano is like, "Did you eat snacks?" And he's like, "No, I didn't. Look somewhere else." <laughs> and then she, like, you know, the, one of the best <laughs> uh, excuses she comes up with is Sakamoto told me to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> like as I said, this, this like has the same energy of my dog ate my homework. <laughs> Oh my god, that was too good. Ah, uh, so and then you know, like uh, uh, Nano's like, all right, so you ate snacks. That's all well and good. Did you brush your teeth? And she's like, yeah, I did it. And Nano's like, no, you ate snacks. You have to brush them again. And obviously, Professor's like, no, I brushed them. Why should I brush them again? And you know, like <laughs> Nano's mad. Nano's like, uh, no, like you know, like you will go and brush again, you know. Otherwise, you know, like it's going to you're going to get cavities and everything. And uh, <laughs> professor's like, did you brush your teeth? <laughs> Nano's like, yes, I did. And then <laughs> professor's like, oh, you're a robot. You don't even get cavities. So like you know, and obviously Nano is very sensitive to these type of things. We've seen before as well. Whenever someone like you know, kind of refers to her as a robot, 
she always gets insecure and everything she starts crying <laughs> professor is like no 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 you might get cavity and i was just joking you know like you might get get one but then professor is like no you're lying like, you know I, I really won't get cavity and i was like but you can get rusted you know as if that's like a good <laughs> that's like a good replacement for cavity <laughs> Oh no. And then in the end, now nah, professor's like, all right, I'll give you a cavity feature. Don't worry. <laughs> and <laughs> and Nano's like, really? You, 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 are you feeling the truth? And she's like, yeah, I'll definitely give you a feature. And well, so <laughs> like, I guess, you know, like she, she wants to be more human. So I guess that's one way. Um, so yeah, that was funny. And then they were like, okay, let's brush together again. And that ended in a nice way. I wonder if Professor will really give her a cavity feature in the future. Who knows? Um, okay, and then after the after credit scene, we get to see that we kind of get a hint as to what happened after that. You know, Misato has like, there's a lump, big lump on her head. Probably got smacked by the hand. That's why. And she is like, you know, breaking eggs making like probably like sunny side up or something she's like <laughs> thinking about sasara and just getting embarrassed okay so and then in the end there was the, the gilgamesh's voice actor i still like you know cannot believe it i actually mistook gilgamesh's voice actor as for ku hulin's voice actor I can, you know what, I still kind of get the vibe of Kuhulin's voice actor there. Like, the way he says it at the beginning. Like, it's in a weird way a mixture of Gilgamesh's voice and Kuhulin's voice. That's probably why I made the mistake, you know? The way he was talking there, it was like a weird mixture of Kuhulin and Gilgamesh's voice. I don't know how he did that, but that was interesting. Okay, so yeah, that is where it ends. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that was a great episode. <laughs> As always, random. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for watching. This is my reaction to episode number uh, 8 of Nishijo. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And I'll check them out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Nichijo. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.